Hello and welcome back to the part four in the same series of if you're new to real estate. Okay, today I'm going to talk about another important thing. Okay, so in last video, I spoke about having your contacts. Okay, remember in your phone book, you have all the contacts, you categorize them A, B, C and D also. It's also important to delete the people those who are not going to do a business with you. Okay, but you probably heard it by now that people do love to business with the people those who they like and trust. Okay, so now on the same note, one thing you got to keep that in mind that people got to be in your database. Now, but now you already know that, right? So people got to be in your database. Now today I'm going to give you an idea how you can expand your database. Okay, so now another category of the people you already you don't know that you actually remember them but you actually remember them you actually know them okay okay let me actually re-say re that uh, you know them but you don't think you know them okay so what do I mean by that the people those who you interact with let me ask you a question do you remember your barber's first name do you remember the personal who, if you're a woman, do you remember the nail salon you went to, the lady who was actually doing the pedicure or the manicure or giving you a good nail treatment? Do you remember? Do you remember your hairdresser's name? And do you remember what they do? Okay. If you don't, start making a list of the people, everybody who's giving service to you. Okay. If somebody's coming to cut your lawn or landscaping work, Okay, get to know that person, your plumber, your electrician, your doctor, your your pediatrician, your your optometrist, your manicure person, they, you know, pedicure person, the person who is giving you like you know, come there, come your home to do the cleaning work. Okay. Um, do you remember your doctor's name? Do you remember who your doctor's real estate agent is? Okay, do you remember your dentist's real estate agent? If you don't know, I highly urge you to make a list. There are over 100 people I can count all these different professionals who you either going to interact with maybe on a monthly, quarterly or a yearly basis or sometimes you'd probably need them every two years. But guess what? This is part of your database. You need to reach out to them and let them know that what services do you do. By the way, if somebody knocks at your door, how do you treat them? Do you shush them? <laughs> I hope not. If somebody's coming from Bell Canada and they say, listen, I want you to sell you this product on your door. My question to you is, I mean, if you take the service, it's great. If you don't take the service, at least let them know because somebody is working hard and guess what? They should not go off your porch, your front porch without your business card. Make sure you have the business card, give it to them. You say, let them know that you are in real estate. You never know today they are door to door sales. Tomorrow they wanted to rent a property and then eventually leads to you to buy a condo maybe a tour they can refer their mom or dad or a cousin or a brother who is looking to purchase a real estate or any property uh, of commercial or residential in the near future so do not overlook them make sure keep a close eye whoever get interact with um, you know you actually my rule here is this I recommend you one thing take you five business cards every single morning and you go out and meet five people okay i don't care you go to the tim hortons you go to starbucks second cup or maybe go for a lunch uh maybe you maybe go and take your kids to the park uh or you may be bar barbecuing at the beach i'm sure you're gonna find some people but eventually people are your raw material you need them you need them every single day. So connect with them and give business cards. Okay. If they connect with you, if they give you a number back, that's great. But you still need to do, you don't need to push them or pressure them to take the numbers, but at least they should know who you are. Okay. By the way, for your convenience, I'm going to attach a small uh, list like in the description, you're going to find a link where you can actually get that a list of around 100 different professionals. I'm going to attach. You can think of who they are and then try to put their name and number. If you don't know, don't worry about it. Whenever next time you reach out to them, make sure to ask them. Start building the list. So that's your 100 people right and right there. Again, hopefully this video is going to add up 100 contacts in your database and make you some money. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you think somebody can get benefited with this, don't forget to share it. And, and by the way, have you haven't subscribed the channel yet? Mm. 
think about it again. Am I bringing enough value for you? If I am, come on, do it now. I look forward to seeing you at the step number five. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.